damn, I can't believe I got an exclusive access on this sneaker. Nike, you did me right on this one. Welcome back guys, hope you're having an amazing Sunday, hope you're having an amazing day. This is another release, another sneaker, another review, you know how we do. So welcome back guys, hope you're having an amazing Sunday, hope you're having a great day. Like I said, it's another sneaker, another pickup, another review, another exclusive access or early access, I don't know what EA stands for, it could be exclusive access or it could be early access, it could be either or both because they always give you that EA before and after if you're lucky enough. But today we're going to review something special that I've been looking forward to, but before we do that, please do like, go follow subscribe come and chat to me let's have a conversation let's break it down and let's get these sneakers for retail and let's get these sneakers because we want to wear them <laughs> guys and today we are looking at a very special sneaker a sneaker i really wanted from the offset and if you haven't seen it already this is what we're reviewing today hey presto bang this is the jordan free cardinals So guys, as you can see, the Jordan 3 Cardinal is magnificent, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely amazing, absolutely fantastic. But we'll go into the sneaker. But before we go into the sneaker, we are going to look at the box like we do on this channel. So, hey, presto, bang, this is the box. This is the Cardinal 3 box. And as you can see, they've been doing boxes like this before. The Unite Freeze came in this, the Chai Freeze came in this. A lot of Freeze are starting to come like this. Even the Cool Grey Freeze came in a similar box and as you can see guys bang this is the box this is the blood maroon cardinal free box with that jump man on the top and on the side with that cement print that runs all the way through one side of the sneaker and where the label sits is where we actually finish that cement print look at that absolutely gorgeous absolutely amazing sneaker and right at the bottom we've got the traditional nike writing white jump man at the front and the box label as i showed you guys this is what the box label looks like the box label should read Air Jordan 3 Retro White Light Curry Cardinal Red. So that yellow is a curry yellow. So we'll go into that sneaker properly. But this is what the box says. It's Cardinal Red. This looks like a blood maroon, but it's Cardinal Red. We're going to call it Cardinal Red. And obviously the box itself, the code in the box is CT85. 32126. That's what you should be looking for. And obviously, this is a size 10, my size, and that's what it should read. And inside this, we should have, as I open this, this waxy, waxy, waxy elephant side, elephant print side, and this clearish, clearish. So, as you can see, it comes with this elephant print paper, and also it comes with a separate paper which is similar to the elephant print which one side is just paper the other side is just waxy and that's pretty much it that's pretty much it for the box really that's what you should expect the double wrap that sneaker for you and this is the jordan three cardinal box that's how you should get it now let's take a look at this magnificent sneaker so it's sneaker time so hey presto bang this is the jordan free cardinal as you can see it's got that cardinal midsole that runs all the way through from the toe to the medial toe as you can see this is different because normally you get that midsole trim run through and stop right there right there is where you cut off normally on a jordan 3 and as you can see it runs through to toe to toe on this jordan 3 and you've got that traditional elephant print that red cardinal jump man at the back with the ear at the bottom and the front 
toe with that elephant print. Absolutely gorgeous. And then when you talk about the tongue, that curry yellow jump man, and this is from the box. This is not me just saying it. They called it the curry yellow. <laughs> curry yellow. How traditional. <laughs> but on top of that, you've got the eyelets. One set of eyelets at the bottom is all curry yellow. And then you've got that glossy, glossy eyelets at the top with that red. And they do match the midsole because as you can see guys, that midsole trim of cardinal red is glossy. It's absolutely glossy. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love this. I love the fact that it's not matte. I love the fact that it's glossy and I love the fact that it shines as you walk. Imagine walking with this and it's shining all the way through. Guys, this is this sneaker is gorgeous. This sneaker is absolutely gorgeous. And a bit of different bit of a difference. I normally find that the back of the tab always sits a bit high, but this is actually lower, which is a bit of a benefit because this is not going to dig into your heel as much as the other threes do. And we'll talk about the other threes in a bit because I'm gonna pull out the free throw lines and we're gonna compare the build of this sneaker to the build of the other threes we've seen over the years because there is a massive difference in that sneaker in terms of the toll box, in terms of all the overall cut of it. But we'll look into that in a bit. But as we go into the sneaker, as you can see, the inside still hits with that Cardinal 3 that hits that white jump man in the middle. And the inner lining is soft, soft, premium soft. Absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see on this sneaker, if you haven't noticed already, on that white upper, you have that tumbled, tumbled, traditional tumbled Jordan 3 leather. And we'll talk about the leather in a bit, guys. We will talk about the leather in a bit. And on that sole, look at that sole. We've got that red Cardinal Jordan, that red Cardinal pad, or that actual foot pad, and the gray with the white, the traditional Jordan 3 sole, absolutely gorgeous. And as we always try and do on this channel, Damn, that Jordan smell, that three smell is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous sneaker. And obviously, white laces. You don't get any other laces with Jordan 3s, just white laces with this. You could switch it up. I might actually switch it up with some red cardinal laces, but obviously, you can see the sneaker absolutely is gorgeous. And that elephant print in those eyelets combines it. Absolutely gorgeous. Even the midsole trim all the way through white and cardinal red and that mud guard, that overlay that is absolutely white with the overlay elephant prints. These sneakers, Jordan Freeze, man. Jordan Freeze. Let's talk about Jordan Freeze. Damn, Jordan Freeze are fire. Absolute crazy fire. You should not sleep on Jordan Freeze. I'm not even joking. So we're gonna look at the build of the sneaker. As you can see, this is the new cut. This is the new shape. This is the new actual back to retro, back to OG style, because I'm gonna pull up Bang, these, these are the three Proline threes. As you can see, guys, this is the white variation with the translucent sole. This is absolutely like the old traditional cut in 2018, 2019 with the black cements. They all come in this shape. Now, if you ever look at that shape, look at that toe box, look how squared off that toe box is. It sits proud and high. And as you can see, guys, bang, this is the Cardinals. The Cardinals is a slant. The Cardinal, it Cardinals cuts it cuts it through, goes through, and that's what the new cut and build looks like. If you can see the shape, even the tab sits a bit more lower than the tab on these. Look at that, that tab on the back sits a bit more higher. This was always gonna cause me a problem. The back tab on freeze always cuts my heels. The fours are fine. Something about the back tabs on the freeze is just, just like it cuts your heels, cuts my heels. But there's nothing on the back of these, unlike the free throw lines. This is a different cut, different build. It also seems from the front, as you can see, the front of this, let me see. The front of this looks way more streamlined than the front of this, as you can see. It looks a bit more bulkier. See, side by side comparisons, as you can see, guys. Not much, not much, but even the toe box, see that toe box? I'll show you. That toe box there cuts through, like that, that cuts through here. Look at that, that shapes through and is more narrow than the free throw lines when you have a look at it. It's way more boxier, 
way more wider. So that's the new trim. They're going back to the OG cut with these threes and this is still gorgeous, still amazing, still phenomenal pair of sneakers. But well, I'm gonna give you that front perspective. I'm gonna give you that back perspective. I'm gonna give you that lateral side. Look at that gloss. I'm gonna give you that medial side. And then it's all about the sole, guys. The sole is where it all starts from. And then I'm gonna give you that 360 view perspective. We're gonna make this sneaker tall. We're gonna make this sneaker dance. And this sneaker is absolutely gorgeous. Bang, bang, guys. Look at that, guys. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely amazing. Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pair of sneakers. I love these Cardinal Freeze. And I can say this wholeheartedly, if I had a Hall of Fame freeze, because this is very close to the Hall of Fame freeze, I'm definitely still picking this up. Even with the five red freeze that we're getting at the end of this month, or oh, not ending this month, in this year, I'm still gonna pick this up to go with those OG colorways because there's something about a white with any variable on that sole, on that midsole, that looks absolutely gorgeous. UNC freeze. Black cement freeze, fire red freeze, cardinal freeze, and we can go on. Hall of Fame freeze, every single colorway with that white upper looks absolutely gorgeous to me. Damn, the cardinal freeze are absolutely fire, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I picked them up and I'm so glad Nike gave me the exclusive access or the early access to pick up my pairs. By the time I'm recording this, it's actually Thursday. So I actually got it on release date. I actually got it came Wednesday. I got it one day before release date, but it doesn't mean that this wasn't a hard cop because on release date, I saw loads and loads of L's. People were actually getting L's for this sneaker. For some reason, it seems to be limited. For some reason, it seems to be like there's not a lot of pairs up, but it's ironic that when I got exclusive access on Monday, I actually went through at five o'clock to cop my size and they had the full size run. And I actually did put some raffles in for my bro, he got sold because he wanted a size UK nine. And unfortunately I took loads of L's, but I'll still be hunted because I literally sat and slept on that early access on Monday when it came out. It came out at 11 a.m. I actually picked up the sneakers at 5 p.m. and there was a full size run when I was trying to get them and I did manage to cop. And obviously, as you can see, I did manage to pick up my exclusive early access pair from Nike sneakers app. But it's ironic that a lot of people took some L's on the sneakers app for some reason, it seems to be limited, but I think there's gonna be restocks. I don't think this is an exclusive access or an exclusive sneaker or a limited sneaker. I think there's gonna be loads of these pairs in the long run. We're gonna see late shipments. We're gonna see late access. We are going to definitely see restocks on the Cardinal Freeze because this is definitely not a limited sneaker. We have all these problems with late shipments, with late shipments globally from Nike and to all the other foot sites. So expect delays, expect restocks and expect your foot sites to get pairs late on. So but keep going to the stores you never know they might be sitting in stores even though they're sold online so guys as i say don't pay that resale wait for the restocks we saw it happen with a lot of these sneakers the cool grays the pattern breads the even the jordan 13 court purples they restocked we've had so many restocks so keep patient and keep looking because there will be restocks of this gorgeous Cardinal Free, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous sneaker. If you want it, trust me, wait for it, wait for the restocks. And even the resale isn't going for much because for some reason, not a lot of people like these frees or not a lot of people pick up frees, but that means it gives you the opportunity to pick up frees on restocks. This is absolutely gorgeous. I still cannot believe I've got this in my collection. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And just to let you guys know, Remember the Hall of Fame sat when they had the full stock. We might see something similar to this before it all sells out. So be patient, be aware, and keep, like I always say, your ear to the ground because there will be pairs out there. So we come to the rating, we come to my rating of this sneaker. I'm giving the Cardinal Free a five goats out of five. Not a super goat, not an OG, but five goats out of five. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely amazing, and this, 
is the review for the Cardinal Freeze. Gorgeous pair, glad I got it, and so grateful I was able to get it in my collection and my rotation because hopefully in the summertime I can put that on feet, COVID depending. But let's see what happens. Let's see how the summer comes around because I'm hoping we have a normal, normal year. But hope you enjoyed the review. That was my review for the Cardinal Freeze. Hope you liked it. Hope you do keep coming back. Hope you keep supporting. And I love all the support that you guys have been giving me. So thank you so, so much for coming through and showing some love. But like I normally say oh, at this juncture, hope you have an amazing week, amazing month, and an amazing year. And I hope you guys cop the sneakers you like because you all deserve to get the sneakers you want. So for me, TJ Love Kicks Customs, peace out, guys.